It's now time to take a look at real polyprotic acids. And before we take a look at real polyprotic acids, it's important that we develop a diagram that helps, them, helps us to look at them. Because in a second, we're going to see that real polyprotic acids, where the Ks are close to each other, become really quite the mess. So I need to have a way to show off what is going on that's better looking, more informative than a titration curve, one that doesn't require that we actually go to all that trouble. I'm going to introduce you to something called an alpha diagram. An alpha diagram is a fractional diagram that tells you what fraction of any particular compound is present in solution at any given time as a function of pH. By that I mean, I'm going to say something like, well, tell you what, let's suppose I have a starting analytical concentration of my acid. So this is all of the acid that went into solution, as H2A. What fraction of it at any given pH is H2A? What fraction of it at any given pH is HA minus? What fraction of it at any given pH is A minus 2? And you might say, well, I'm not sure I understand what you're saying here. But I mean, if you think about it, um, if I have a really acidic solution, isn't almost everything going to be H2A? And if I have a really basic solution, isn't almost everything going to be fully deprotonated because there aren't any protons around? And this thing here, in the middle, in middle pHs, shouldn't it be what dominates? Well, I can actually draw alpha diagrams that show off these fractions pretty easily by doing the following. I'm going to talk about this fraction over here as a function of pH. And the first thing I'm going to do is realize this really neat idea. Suppose I've got a k value equal to 4, 10 to the minus 4, for the first dissociation and a k value equal to 10 to the minus 10 for the second dissociation. Isn't it true that when I have equal amounts of H2 and HA, that the pH is equal to the pK? Think about that. That's telling me that there is a point at pH 4 where 50% of the material is H2A. Half of it is H2A, and half of it is HA minus. So at this point right here, at 0.5, right there, I've got 50-50 H2A and HA minus. Well, in the same way, isn't it true that when the pH equals the pK2 at pH 10 over here, that the amount of HA minus and the amount of A double minus have to be equal? I mean, if you don't think that's true, I mean, just look at this equation. This equation says K is equal to H plus times, say, HA minus over H2A. Let's ratio these things. H plus is equal to um, the K value times the H2A over the HA minus. If I've got equal amounts of these, a 50-50 mixture of these, half of each of these, then the pH is the pK. That's right, I remember doing that. I've done that constantly when I'm doing titration curves and everything else. So I've got a 50-50 mixture of H2A and HA minus at pH 4, and I've got a 50-50 mixture of HA minus and A double minus at pH 10. Well, what do I have elsewhere? Well, at pH 0, I must have all H2A. So that's how much H2A I have here. I have this much H2A way up here. And evidently, it falls down to 50-50 here at pH 4. And I guess it just keeps falling until it goes away. And there's almost none of it way out here at pH 10. And that just makes sense. It may not quite be following how to draw an alpha diagram yet. But at this point, you have to agree that in basic solution, there's not much H2A. And in an acidic, acidic solution, it's all H2A, and that right there is the 50-50 point. Well, what about A double minus? I bet way over here at pH 14, I've got all A double minus, and that it's 50-50 here. And then it falls away to nothing at low pH. Remember, when I add this amount and this amount, and the HA amount, they have to add up to 1, because all of them have to, adding up have to equal to the total amount of stuff I had. Notice I've got H2A and A double minus there. I bet it's the case that this must be approximately what 
the HA minus looks like. Doesn't that make sense? Then that suggests that since it has to cross that point and that point, and I don't have much of it over here, and I don't have that much of it over there, that it has this kind of shape. Look at the beauty in this thing. This is saying that if I add 1, which is all of this, and 0 and 0 over here is equal to 1, that half and half is equal to 1, that maybe 0.8 and 0.1 and 0.1 is equal to 1, that half and half are equal to 1, that 1 and 0 and 0 are equal to 1, I have drawn an alpha diagram which reflects exactly how much stuff I have at a given pH, and I haven't done any calculations. Check this out. Watch. What is the most common species at pH 7? HA minus. Rank the species in terms of concentrations at pH 3. H2A is the most, then HA minus, then A double minus. That's what's so neat about